Did you know before Albert Einstein died, he explicitly stated that he didn't want to be studied, but mere hours after his death, the doctor performing his autopsy took his brain without the permission of the mathematician's family. The doctor, Dr. Thomas Harvey, then brought the brain home, cut it into 240 pieces, and delivered it to various researchers across the country in a beer cooler. He tried sending one to gift Einstein's granddaughter in the 90s, but she refused. Harvey reported that Einstein's brain was different from normal brains, though this claim was not supported by other researchers. Harvey subsequently lost his medical license due to his inappropriate behaviors. How did stagecoach passengers stay warm in the cold temperatures? With the thing that I'm showing you in the picture, this is a stagecoach heater. It's made out of cast iron. It had a vent pipe that stuck out of the top of the stagecoach. You would put coal inside of this thing and light the coal. This also meant you'd have to carry with you a supply of coal if you intended to stay warm in the winter. You could also gather wood and put it inside. Why are the US Marines nicknamed Jarheads? The short version, as passed down in the Marine Corps, is that the Marine uniform at one point featured a high leather collar meant to protect against sword blows to the neck. There is also evidence that it was done more for aesthetic reasons than for combat reasons. Regardless, it was a unique uniform feature to the Marine Corps in the, un in the US. While it is also the origin of the term leatherneck, some people thought that the way it rose so high and was so stiff made it look as though the Marine's head was screwed on like the lid of a jar. It's a feature that still appears on the dress uniform to this day, though not as pronounced. Have any actors had an imperfection in appearance that has helped in their career? Tommy Flanagan. As a young man, Flanagan was attacked by a gang in Glasgow and stabbed in the face several times. Several commentators have pointed out they tried to give him a Glasgow smile. He started working as a theatrical actor, but his big break came during Braveheart, where he was cast as an extra. Mel Gibson saw him and immediately gave him a much more prominent role in the film because he felt the scars added realism to his character. Thereafter, Flanagan has appeared in several big budget films, including Gladiator. Now he is much older than his picture and wears a beard, which hides his scars quite effectively. Did Led Zeppelin's plane have a fireplace? Well yeah. The main cabin of the Boeing 720, dubbed the Starship, featured a long couch that ran along the right side of the plane, swivel chairs, and a 30-foot brass trimmed bar with an organ built into it. An entertainment center contained an ancient Sony U-Matic video cassette player and television, complete with a library of the latest releases. In addition, a master bedroom with a king-sized waterbed. Tour manager Richard Cole claimed that the bedroom literally went by the hour.